I am Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. This is the 12th video in the 30 days of Databricks series. If you are new in this channel, I have created the 30 days of Databricks series. You can refer to my earlier videos to gain uh, other things related to Databricks. What I am trying to do in this video is install Python libraries from notebook as well as in the cluster. There is some differences where you can see or view the packages or install the packages in the notebook itself meaning that notebook is scoped packages as well as cluster is scoped packages i will show you the difference between them let's get started first thing first you need to create the cluster i have already created the cluster but it is not attached to this notebook so this is the practicality that you need to follow before working in the databricks notebook Right. If you go to this terminated tab, I have already started the cluster. So you need to start the cluster and attach it. So now it is attached to the notebook, meaning that you can run this particular notebook. Let's run this cell, shift enter. Let's say that you want to know the Python version uh, in this particular notebook. What you can run is exclamation Python and you can just type dash dash version. If, you, if I run this, it will show me the version of the Python that is being installed. So it says 3.10.6. If you want to know the same thing, but with the magic command, so percentage yes, yes, miss the cell, Python version. So you can run this, it will produce the same result, but different ways how you can check the version of Python installed. You can do the same for peep also. You can just write peep version, it will show you the version of the peep, right? I can just show you here. I will create a new shell up here and I can just say as such peep and then I'm showing you the version of the peep. So it will show us the peep version. Why I'm showing you this is because I'm going to walk you through the peep commands to list all the packages or libraries as well as install them using pip right how to list all the packages that are being installed already by the way you might be confused what am i talking about because we haven't installed any libraries in this notebook right if you remember when i explained you in the cluster creation video you need to choose the different run times and when you create the cluster some of the packages are pre-installed so that's the difference which cluster you want to choose based on that some packages are being already installed there if i want to see what are the different packages that are being installed already i can just run peep list and it will show me all the packages that are already being installed right as you can see here there are many packages here there is pandas there is numpy all the different things here right if you scroll there are many here you might be wondering, okay, I use Conda instead of PIP. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible in Databricks notebook, but in community edition and in some run times, it is not possible. Just to demonstrate that, if I run this Conda version here, it will show us the error. Okay, the Databricks runtime version does not support Conda commands, meaning that the runtime version that I am using does not support the Conda commands. You need to be careful which one supports or not right but we don't need to go with this conda because peep can do the same thing right i told you before that there is pandas installed now you want to know the versions of it you can already know from here but if you want to know more details you can run peep show pandas so it will show us the pandas the version is 1.4.4 and it gives the summary home page author and all the different things related to this peep show pandas command let's say that if i want to run peep show lang chain what happens because lang chain is not installed when i create this cluster meaning that it is not pre-installed if i run this particular shell it will show some error meaning that package not found right so how to install the package now you can use peep install lang chain and you can provide the versions if you want the specific version but I'm just going to use the latest version so I can just say pip install langchain so it is going to install langchain in this notebook just to say that in this notebook right this is notebook scoped packages 
it is saying here you need to restart the kernel using this command to use updated packages but sometimes you don't need to just to demonstrate that if i just run this import lang chain let me create the command here just to show you if i do import lang chain then i can import the lang chain there is no issue but if for some reason it throws some error you can run this particular command in the shell as mentioned here then it will restart the kernel then you can import that's fine right so this is how i showed you that you can import the lang chain but just to show you one example created uh, another notebook here and it says notebook detached and i need to attach the cluster 30 days of databricks i attach the same cluster i can close this in the previous notebook as well as in this current notebook right and i have installed langchain only in the previous one right just to show you it is not in this notebook i can say here import lang chain and it will throw me the error i have used the same cluster but it is still throwing the error that is what i was mentioning you it is notebook scoped packages right so for that you need to install all the necessary packages in the notebook itself to use now what is the difference with the cluster scoped you might be asking right that is what we are going to go through now let me go to the compute part here this is the compute 30 days of databricks i can go inside this there is this libraries part so here we don't have any libraries installed by us in the cluster now let me install something here if you click this install new you can install from different sources you can upload you can use dbfs s3 pyp maven cran orkspace library and python wheel or jar right i'm going to go with pyp just to show you now you you need to provide the name i can pass here open ai because open ai is not installed in the notebook before and also we haven't installed it just to demonstrate that i can say here before installing this what i can do is i can say import open ai right it will throw us the error because we haven't imported this right this peep show is not even necessary i can delete this for now right now i'll go to the cluster i will say open ai you can provide the url but that is optional so we don't need to provide it i will say install right so what happens now is instead of notebook scoped libraries we are installing the library or package on the cluster itself meaning that once you attach this cluster into any notebook we can import this particular uh, package so that is why i said you notebook scoped as well as cluster is scoped okay now it is installed if i now go back to the notebook this is notebook one right now if i run the same import open ai i can go here and run import if i write op it will automatically show us open ai meaning that it is already installed right open ai i can run shift enter okay there is open ai but i didn't install this in the notebook you need to remember this now let me go to the next notebook here also i haven't installed right and if i run import langton it throws the error because i haven't installed here but i am using the same cluster 30 days of databricks what i can do here is i can say import as you can see i type op and it gives the suggestion open ai meaning that i can use open ai package in this particular notebook also so that is the difference between notebook scoped and the cluster is scoped just to demonstrate again if i delete this what happens right let me go here check this one i can uninstall this confirm you might be thinking once i do this that is done and if i go here and import open ai it is still working probably yeah but you might be thinking we just uninstalled right one thing that many of you get confused is there is some message being shown here if you hover on top of this dot it says uninstall pending the restart meaning that 
when you uninstall when you install the package you don't need to restart but when you uninstall the packages from the cluster you need to restart the cluster always remember that so what i can do here go to this more icon and here is restart i can click restart it says are you sure you want to restart compute i said confirm now it is going to restart and for restart it will take some time i will get back to you once the restart is completed okay it took some time and now the cluster is again active right what i can do now if i go here and it is already attached just to show you i can detach and reattach right so now if i do import open ai it should throw me the error because i just uninstall that from the cluster it says import open ai it is doing something behind the scene waiting to run and it should throw me the error it's still running running the command yeah it says no module name open ai but if i run import langchain if i run this again it says no module named langchain because i restarted the cluster meaning that that is the difference now the notebook is scoped also if you restart the cluster then whatever you install is gone you need to install again in the cluster also if you install once it is there if you uninstall it's not there right i hope you get the idea now so yeah that's all i want to show you in this video i hope now you get the idea when to use the uh, notebook specific uh, libraries or notebook scoped packages and the cluster scoped right if you want to use the same packages and if you want to use the same cluster for multiple notebooks go with the cluster scoped packages or install packages in the cluster if you just want the notebook to be isolated from another notebook and if you are doing something just for that particular notebook and you don't want others to use that package then always go with the notebook scoped packages thank you for watching and see you in the next video